and shale gas as well as renewables. But the man in charge tells me the industry still has a bright future. It's a declining uh, basin, it's a mature basin. Uh, Mother Nature is, is at force uh, as the resources get smaller, but we are definitely still very significant and very important. Uh, we produce today more than two-thirds of the prime energy needs of the UK. Many of these platforms were never expected to still be around today. The process of removing them is now ramping up, and so this seascape will probably look very different in another 50 years. Well, I mentioned the fact that that uh, seascape will begin to change over the next few years, and that's because the decommissioning side of the oil and gas sector is now starting to ramp up. That's the process of removing all of those installations from the sea, taking them to the land and dismantling them. It's predicted about 200 individual platforms will be decommissioned between now and 2025. That's a whole new sector, bringing a whole new load of jobs. Um, but the prediction, of course, is that the oil... Uh, will continue to flow in some shape or form, probably for most, if not all, of the next 50 years. Kevin, thank you very much. And uh, as currently talking about the weather, we can see what it's like. Quite a difference between there and some other parts of the country. Yeah, we can talk about the high.